This video will take an in-depth look at the new Soundpeats True Capsule 2 earbuds. Another great sounding, inexpensive, and feature-packed true wireless earbud from Soundpeats. I'm going to cover everything from what's in the box, their stats, I'm going to measure their audio latency, their max volume, their sound quality, and my overall pros and cons. Stick around to the end and I'll let you know my absolute favorite feature about these earbuds and share with you some indoor and outdoor microphone audio samples. These are really reasonably priced on Amazon for only about $39 currently, but check the links in my video description to get the latest on pricing. The case on these Soundpeats True Capsule 2s is very stately and good looking as far as earbud cases can be good looking. It doesn't pick up any fingerprints, it has a really strong magnetic closure, it fits in the small pocket or in a gym bag, and they're really easy to get the earbuds in and out of the case. That case charges via USB-C cable, it takes only two hours to charge, and the buds will last eight hours per charge, plus the case can recharge them four more times for a total of 40 hours of playtime. Now the fit of these earbuds is different from a lot of other stem style earbuds that I've reviewed. And for those of you who like a deep ceiling fit of in-ear type earbuds, like the Soundpeats True Engine 3 SE, the Phil T1X, or the Liberty Air 2s, the True Capsule 2s will feel pretty similar. They block a ton of passive noise, and they sit really comfortably in my ears. And if you're into running or high impact workouts like I am, you might want to learn to place these in your ears just a little bit less shallow for those workouts. But for low impact workouts, just pop them in your ears like you normally would to listen to music and go for it. These do ship with three sizes of silicone ear tips and they should fit most ears comfortably. They're a very light earbud. Now they also support aptX and SBC for high definition audio. And in watching movies on Netflix and some YouTube videos, these have very good audio synchronization. They do not lag, but they are not great for gaming. And my unofficial latency tests for gaming show them to score around a 500 millisecond audio latency, which is pretty noticeable. Now, let's talk about the best feature of the True Capsule 2s, the touch controls. Yes, yes, they control everything on the earbuds, including volume, but it's their incredible accuracy and responsiveness that really sets these apart from any earbuds that I've tested in the past. The gentlest touch on the Soundpeats S logo on the earbuds activates the touch commands. There's no need to tap really hard. Don't be concerned with like mistapping because it's so easy to press them. You can touch and hold the stem on these earbuds at any time and it won't issue any commands. Plus, when you're issuing commands, there's always an audio confirmation for play, for pause, for forward, rewind, and of course, activating the voice assistant. And these earbuds have in-ear detection. So when you remove either earbud from your ear, they automatically turn off your music. And when you put the earbud back in your ear, it'll put your music back on. And it actually works really well. So I'm scoring these as my highest ever touch control rated earbuds. These set the standard, in my opinion, for touch controls on a wireless earbud. Now the Bluetooth range on these is tested in about 37 feet, which is about what's advertised, and, but I really didn't have any problems with any connections during any of my workouts or morning jogs. Both earbuds will work in mono mode, but they are not multi-point. So in other words, they will not connect to two devices simultaneously. These earbuds are IPX5 rated, so you can use them in the rain or if you get sweaty in your workout without any concerns. The maximum volume on these is very good, especially considering the amount of bass that you're getting. I measured them at 100 decibels, but I gotta tell you, they feel a lot louder because they sit deep in your ears and they provide a ton of deep, rumbly bass. So getting a little bit deeper into that sound quality, the sound quality of the Soundpeats True Capsule 2s is surprisingly good for only 39 bucks. The bass is really strong. It's got a, like I said, it's got a satisfying sub bass rumble and they're capable of handling kind of the droney bass as well as the fast bass at the same time. Both male and female vocalists will sound well positioned and forward in the sound stage and you're going to easily be able to spot any kind of backup vocals behind the lead. Now the highs are really bright on these. I would even call them crisp and fairly detailed. The buds themselves feel pretty open to me with a large size sound stage and very, very precise placement of vocals and instrument within that stage. 
Overall, I would give these sound signature kind of a fun and energetic vibe. And compared to some of the recent ANC buds that I've reviewed, these have much greater low level detail. So my pros and cons on these are pretty simple. These have the best touch controls of any bud I've tested. The sound quality is energetic for workouts and any bass head would definitely appreciate these buds. Plus, there's enough detail and balance to please most people who listen to just about any genre, although they do lend themselves better towards that kind of bass genres. They work well for watching movies, for working out, and even for running. I really, at $39, I really just don't have any cons with these earbuds, although Soundpeats has me pretty spoiled, and I would love to see them just keep packing more and more features into their buds. So one last pretty cool feature that Soundpeats popped into these earbuds is CVCA noise canceling. There's four total butt mics on these earbuds, and let's listen to the indoor and outdoor phone call samples and decide how well they work. This is the recording using the Soundpeats True Capsule 2 on an inside phone call to Google Voice. There's no noise in the background whatsoever right now. This is a simultaneous recording of the Soundpeats True Capsule 2 using a phone call over to my Google Voice. I got several SUVs coming in the other direction. I'm just going to let them go by and we'll see exactly how well the Soundpeats True Capsule 2 handles the outdoor uh, background noises while speaking at a normal volume level. So based on that test, the mics on the Sound Capsule 2s are quite decent mics. They're definitely better than the True Free 2 and True Engine 3 SE that I recently reviewed. Now for indoor use, these would definitely work well. And for noisy environments, they'd still pick up my voice really well. And they do suppress background noise as well, even if it's a little too aggressive sometimes. Thanks for watching my review of the Soundpeats True Capsule 2s.